us oh, is here in the city of Southern California catching up with Bantamweight contender Saul Sanchez. Saul, less than a month for the big opportunity, the world title opportunity you're taking on world champ Jason Maloney. How are you feeling at this moment? I'm feeling very strong. I've been training for for a month already, for two months, almost two months, and I'm, I'm ready to go. I feel strong. Training camp been been good. Uh, I've been training. I just took a week off after my fight in October right. in Japan, and I got back to gym. And I've been training. I got caught actually from, um, that, that I'm getting the, the fight for the world title. And, um, Quick I, turnaround. I, yeah, it was just a, like two weeks. And, I, and after my fight, and I got the, the call that I'm fighting, I went back to the gym. Uh, how did you take those news, knowing that you had just fought in Japan on, on October the 12th? Did you say just took a week off and back back in training, back to the training, yes. to face a world champ, that world title opportunity? You've been calling on Jason Maloney. Yeah. Because but, you think you know you could beat him, right? Yes, I know for sure I, I got to beat him. It's, it's not going to be a walk in the park, of course not, but it's going to be a good fight, a tough, tough fight for, for both of us. What makes you so uh, sure that your style could be Jason Maloney's style? Because um, I'm aggressive, I'm, I'm, I'm tough in there, I like, I, I'm willing to like, to die in the ring to, to win that world title. And I, I know for sure I'm, I'm gonna take it. What was your reaction when you when you got that call saying, okay, we got a, a world title opportunity? Uh, you just man, it was, took I, it just just in yeah, a matter it, of seconds. Yeah, I got I, I got really like excited and it kind of like emotional, like like I, you know a dream coming true. It's coming true. So now I just gotta win. There's a your your fight when you when you fought Eros Korea. Uh, that was your second loss in your professional career. You actually got to have the world title opportunity before he did. How, how does that make you feel? He knows, he knows you. I got to see his last fight, uh -huh. and we talked about that fight that you, get, you guys had, split decision, yes. tough, very competitive fight. But he's like, you know what? I wish him the best of luck. If he's there, he's knocking on that door, he should just go ahead and grab it. I'll get my chance as well. What do you think of that? He was expressing very well of yourself. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he's a good fighter. You know, he just got to keep going. You know, both, both of us just put in the work. And, you know, it was just my time, for my the opportunity came and I uh, took it. Um, just like you said, your aggressiveness, Jason Maloney is, is known for being a very technical fighter. Probably one, two, in and out, lateral movements. Can you cut off the ring, catch up to him, and, and punish him? Yeah, for sure. That's that's what I'm working on. Okay. And that's what I, I learned from my loss. All right. But um, Earl's to not. Was, was that was that what was missing that night? Just the finishing a little, touches. A little, a little bit, huh? Yeah. It was a close fight. What do you think of Jason Maloney as a world champ? What do you think when he won that that fight? Uh, when he became a world champ, when he beat that Filipino fighter. Now that he's a world champ, what do you think of him? Um, he's just another fighter. I, I mean, just just one uh, Filipino. <laughs> I, I, I help. I help. I help. I don't know what his name. I forgot. But I helped him. You did? Yeah, did I he come him. over here to this gym? I, I went to Vegas to, um, Vegas to help okay. him far, right. to fight to prepare for for Jason Maloney, and I did get his far. I helped him out. Ever since you fought in Japan, you, your your name, your face is is very well recognized, and the division you fight on. It's a very popular weight class in Japan as well. Uh -huh. Should you win um, your fight on January 13th, do you see yourself going back to Japan and maybe showcase your talent against a top top contender? Yeah, I'll, I'll like to go back to Japan. It's a, it's a good country, good fighters too. Okay. And it'll, it'll be a good experience again. Some people would say that you well, a uh, quiet guy, soft-spoken, but you're actually expressing yourself very well in this interview, man. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is, it, is it a hunger? Um, um, yeah, just the just drive, the, the, the focus on, on the January focus, 13th? Just ready, just, I don't know. I just don't think, don't think about it, you know, there the you camera. Like if Jason Maloney were to be watching this interview, why would you tell him three weeks away from fight night? Uh, just, just be ready and, and be ready for a war. Here comes uh, Saul Sanchez. Here comes. There you go, man. There's nothing else to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Saul Sanchez getting ready for his January 13th fight against Jason Maloney live on ESPN. Do not want to miss it. This guy is coming. Thank you very much, Saul. Thank you.